guys, welcome back to Cooking with Stefan and Taylor. Okay, so today we picked some of our lettuce Hi. grow <laughs> and we're gonna make a salad using a good amount of our lettuce grow and also just some added. So we have some parsley that we're gonna go ahead and cut up Anna, in here. I agree. And we These have- These are not a good cake. We have, we have the viola, so they're really beautiful. And here, I'll go ahead and show a picture of them. They're pretty. They're really pretty. But they don't taste put them on good. the cake. They're a little hard though. So these aren't as harsh compared to sunflowers, but they kind of have a very mild, lettucey taste. And and you want a nap when you're going on a on a day trip? Eat these. They are pretty yummy. Yeah. So our Adam. maybe I'm not gonna try it. So our celery did not come from our lettuce girl, but we're gonna go ahead and use it anyways. It's nice if you My just God. chop it up nice and thin. And we're gonna go ahead and add that in there. Also, we have the Hi. rest of our vegetables Maybe. here. They don't know what in. <laughs> they don't know who can is. A calf, or wild calf, they don't want in. So we're gonna go ahead and add this in here. And we're just gonna put, and we're know. just gonna put all of our lettuces in here. So we're gonna go ahead and chop them up really quick and we'll be right back. Hi. <laughs> Turn it off. Okay, so we are using a sweet onion and we're gonna go ahead and mandolin this up because it tastes way better when you mandolin it compared to trying to cut it small. Gotta get the rest of that peel off. And I think it really just adds a wonderful flavor and salad. As long as the onion is chopped small. If you have chicks, thick cuts of onion, it never tastes as good. And that's where the mandolin really comes in handy. Okay, so that's about all we want of the onion for this salad. And what's really great is with the spring, they have all of these wild onions. You probably see them growing in parks, maybe in your yard. And really, most people don't use them. I've actually never met anybody that does but they're really good, just a little bit added in salads. They're a little stronger than the regular green onions or chives, but I like that if you don't use pesticides in your yard, you can just go ahead and pick them. I usually pick them where nobody walks, that way you don't have to worry about them having all that gross stuff on them. And these are the violas that we're gonna add in at the top. So now let's make the dressing. Before we make that salad, I wanna show we're gonna add one carrot, one you get the vitamin A from, so that's great. And two, it really adds some color. Instead of just using lettuce for your salad, this adds so much more. And for this, I'm gonna just mandolin it this way as well. It's a lot quicker just to put it right in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a half of a cucumber. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna slice it right in half first. So we have some thinner slices and then we're gonna go ahead and just mandolin that in there as well. So we're gonna take that just like this and mandolin straight in. And then it just gives a nice added crunch to it. It's just really delicious. I think all of this makes your salad better compared to just the plain salad that you get at many stores where all it is is just lettuce and salad dressing. And to me, that's really boring. So let's go ahead and add the rest of this in here. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our salad dressing. It's a simple, relatively easy salad dressing. We have our olive oil in here already. We're gonna use a little bit of this sweet and spicy mustard compared to just using the regular mustard. And this one I was pleasantly surprised from Trader Joe's. It's really good on sandwiches and a variety. And all we do is just add a little bit there. Remember, mustard is strong. You don't need a lot of mustard. And then we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna go ahead and add just a little teaspoon of the white wine vinegar. So we're gonna put a little bit of that in. And for the extra, we're gonna add just a little bit of the red wine. This one takes a little longer to get out. And what we also wanna do is we wanna add some lemon. So I think lemon, really just adds a nice citrusy flavor to it. And then we're also gonna add a little pepper after that. So we're gonna squeeze just half of that in there. We're gonna set that to the side and we're gonna add some just regular black pepper. If it opens, we're just gonna sprinkle 
a little bit in there. And you can use a store-bought salad dressing if you want. I usually like to make my own unless it's um, really specific. There's only one that I really like, and that's from Trader Joe's, of course. That's the, it's the Thai peanut salad dressing. That one's really good. And to sweeten this off, we're gonna add some honey. So we just have some pure regular honey, and we're gonna go ahead and use our one chopstick to get it out. And we're just gonna add about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more of this. Okay, so all we're gonna do, now that our salad dressing is done, we're gonna just go ahead and give this a good mix, get it all mixed up, so that way with every bite, you get all of the vegetables in it. Okay, so after that, we're gonna go ahead and add our salad dressing in here. As you can see, it's really pretty. It's kind of a unique, pretty color. So we're gonna go ahead and pour over there. You don't have to put the whole thing on. And that way then if you want a little added extra, you can add more. Each person is different on if they like a strong salad dressing flavor. So that's two tastes. And then just go ahead and mix it all up. Again, that way every bite has everything and every piece has a little bit of flavor from the salad dressing. This is Stefan. And first, this is a really good video. Huh. I will play a game. So first, on this step, when you finish it, you gotta put the flour on. But you, if you want to mix it, that's fine. But it doesn't. But you don't have to mix this, some people want. And you don't do anything. You could do the board decoration. And now it is in trial. Can you eat vegetables? That's one important thing. Always put them on a bite, then in case you like it. Mmm, not bad. Tell me one more thing. Please subscribe and like and jiggle and hit the bell button and subscribe. And I'm going to make a new video. Is anyone ready? We do the top of the question to see all my videos.